Hey everybody, it's me, Richard, with Nightmares, Tears, Anyone. Hey you guys, today is Thursday, April 21st. I got a book in the mail, and could my favorite villain suddenly be replaced? Come back after the intro. Hey you guys, and before I get into today's review, I just want to tell all of you, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend it with me, to hear me talk about horror, all this stuff behind me. But you guys, as always, uh, you guys all know that I started a second channel. It is an arts and crafts channel because you guys know I'm a, a, an artist at heart. I have been making and creating and selling jewelry for over 50 years. Um, I've been lucky enough to sell and make jewelry, make and uh, sell jewelry to the likes of Loretta Swit, Marie Osmond, um, so many others. I've shipped my jewelry all around the world. You guys know if you've ever seen my Pennywise bracelet. I have done tons of custom Disney created bracelets that I've created for many, many people. I've uh, created them. They're all one of a kind. Uh, they're stitched to fit, so if you have a, a favorite character in mind, even a horror character, anything I can translate a picture from into beadwork or graft beadwork, I will create you one. Uh, those of you guys <clears throat> that love horror as much as I do and you haven't done so already, I would love a huge thumbs up for today's review of Cold Hearted. Even if you like the channel, if you like to see me and hear me talk about horror, oh lord, are you crazy or what? But hey... I love horror. You guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button right there. Yeah. There could be a poison apple behind that cloud of smoke. It is so weird. Today, it's Thursday, April 21st. It's about 5.45 p.m. right now. Um, I've got all the lights on and even the lights up above the top of the library right now because our weather is just freaking going crazy. All day it's been thundering and lightning with severe rainstorms. Now it's sunny, but we have got a severe tornado warning till 7 o'clock p.m. Yeah, here in Sacramento, California. Once in a while we'll get a, a um, what are the, those wind funnels? Those Yeah, those wind funnels that'll once in a while touch down. But this is a full-fledged tornado warning. Yeah, so we're all like... Uh, Everybody's staying inside. Zero's going crazy. The dog, the cat's going crazy. But let's get into this book opening. So, um, why am I having a brain fart right now? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, yeah, you can tell by my voice. No, I don't smoke, and no, I'm not a drag queen. But <laughs> my allergies are kicking my ass. So you guys can tell that I've got my favorite. Yes, my favorite villain on right here, Maleficent. Yes, but you guys, with today's review, I need to take a sip of hot coffee out of my strong brew mug. Super hot, sorry for the slurp. So yeah, tornado warning, can you guys believe it? So today I'm going to be doing a review on June of 2021's Cold Hearted, A Tale of the Wicked Stepmother. Now, as you can see, this is how we all know her from the Disney uh, cartoon movie, Sleeping Beauty. Or not Sleeping Beauty, my God, Cinderella. So, there she is on the inside of the cover, holding the key. Yeah. That key, yeah. There's a whole different story here. Now, 
before we get into the book opening, let's get into this. Yeah, I got a book from an author. Um, you guys, I love this guy. I have got probably all of his books. Um, he has sent me almost all of them. I've got them up there in both hardback and the the, the large paperbacks by um, the publisher. He sent them to me all personalized, autographed with notes. When this when this new one came out, excuse me, you guys have the hiccups. Um, he was offering it, it in a limited edition signed hard copy. So yeah, let's open this, you guys. Oh my God, beautiful book. So with this being one of my favorite horror authors, last year I gave two of his books complete five-star reviews. So, the Bram Stoker award-winning author John Everson, five deaths for seven songbirds. Someone is killing them one by one. Will Eve be next? So cool. Hardback, yes. By uh, Flame Tree Press. It says... The dynamics and tension felt reminiscent of my thriller films from 70s and 80s, which have been appreciated by many American directors such as Quentin Tarantino. It would make a great film for lovers of the genre. Otomo Intrigo. Enjoy the read, everyone. Sergio Martino, director of All the Colors of the Dark and the 1970s classic Torso. Um, yeah, so let's look inside here. I hate cracking the cover of these books. Yeah, I really do. For Richard, a true star of horror. Thanks for reading, John Everson. Dude, you're the best. Thank you so much for doing this. Um, it says, five deaths for seven song sound. Oh, wow. I wonder if he knows that. It's supposed to be songbirds. There's a U in there, songbirds. When Eve Springer arrives in Belgium to study with the world-famous Professor Von Klein at the Erie, an exclusive music conservatory, it's the fulfillment of her lifelong dream, but that dream is soon to become a nightmare. When the star of the piano program is strangled with piano wire, Eve takes her place in the school's famed jazz combo, the Songbirds. One by one, the Songbirds start turning up dead. Someone is murdering them, using their own instruments as weapons. Eve needs to figure out who the killer is fast, because when a dead canary is left as a bloody mes message on the keys of her piano, she knows her own life is in danger. Who wants the song to end, and who will be next to play their last note? So there's the author right there. If, if you guys have never read his uh, books, his books grab you from the beginning, and they can sometimes be extremely graphic and gory in the most fun of ways uh i just I, I i love this man his books are just incredible uh yeah i would go into all of my books that i've got by him that are signed and autographed but i want to say thank you a huge 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 thank you to john everson you guys it's available for sale right now on Amazon where all your uh, favorite books are sold. You guys pick it up. John Everson's Five Deaths for Seven Songbirds. Hmm. Five deaths, but there's seven. I wonder if Eve will be one of them. Hmm. Sounds a bit like my favorite Suspiria. Yeah, directed by Dario Argento. Can't wait to crack this open. So let's get into this review of this book. So, you guys, okay, these books by Serena Valentino, uh, The Girl Can Write. These books are beautiful. There's eight of them in the Viz Disney's uh, villain series. This is number eight. This is actually book six, The Odd Sisters. This book cleverly brings back the characters from this one. And, yeah, there's a connection here. So... Like I said, here is the cover of the, the Odd Sisters. This is the poison apple as we all know it. On the inside, 
The apple is completely rotten. Kind of looks like Leatherface there, huh? Yeah. So let's get into this review. You guys, this book was so good. Uh, I'm gonna put on my readers really quick. Sorry about the glare if you guys do get some. So it says, this was supposed to be her happily ever after. It's a familiar tale, a kind and, a kind and beautiful young girl reeling from loss, a doting father frantic to bring a mother's love back into his daughter's life. And the selfish, cruel woman who insinuates herself into that family, a woman so unfeeling, so cold-hearted, that when her new husband dies, she makes the girl a servant in her own home. But who is that evil stepmother, that icy lady of the house? Lady Tremaine. How did she become so closed off that in the face of a child's grief, she thought only to seek wealth and power for herself and her abhorrent daughters, Drizella and Anastasia. Before that fateful fall, before that fateful ball, before the glass slipper and the prince, there was another story. A story of love and grief, of hope and of dreams dashed. It is the story of Lady Tremaine. Even the coldest of villains are sometimes wives and mothers, women who loved and lost and hoped for something grander for their lives. Once upon a dream. The latest novel in Serena Valentino's deliciously devious villain series introduces the most famed and hated wicked stepmother of them all, but turns out everything you know about her is on its head. No, but turns everything you know about her on its head. You guys, um, these books are absolutely so much fun to read. They're a blast. You guys, they're dark, they're creepy, they're devious, they're uh, the, the evil, and, and, and there are bits of uh, horror, not graphic, uh, nothing that a kid couldn't read. There's only 294 pages in, these, in this book. Um, now, you guys, this book, where do I go? On my Goodreads account, I did. I gave this a full five-star read, and I'm gonna give it in this review too, of course, because it's the same book. Yes, I finished this over a week ago. I've been really super busy. Um, I have actually finished three books this week. Uh, so I've got three more reviews coming. But you guys, this woman, oh my God, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. And Lady Tremaine has been scorned. Now, I'm not gonna give any spoilers in this book because I really, really, really want you to read this. Even if you're not a Disney fan, you know the story of Cinderella and Lady Tremaine, her wicked stepmother, and her wicked stepsisters, Drizella and Anastasia. Now, don't think this story is all going to be about Cinderella. It's not. It's about this lady right here. This woman, when she was young, she courted the most beautiful, handsome man. And one day, as they're walking through the park, he decides to take a different way home for some weird reason. He asks her to marry him. They do, they get married, and they stop into this little quaint shop off, off in London. And um, she's like, my husband, why are we going this way? And he's like, I wanted to take a different route home. They go into this really unique collectibles jewelry shop. Right away, she walks in the door, and she is drawn to this glass case and she sees this beautiful, beautiful, big, huge emerald brooch. She doesn't think anything of it, but her husband is obsessed and infatuated with this brooch. He buys her the brooch, gives her the brooch. She wears it every day. It's one of her most prized possessions. 12 years later, she has got two of the most bratty, homely daughters in London. Yes, she's got 10 and a half year old Anastasia and 12 year old Drizella, or vice versa. One, one's older than the other. These girls are homely. Yes, they're talked about in their town, in the, in, in the city of London. Everybody knows who they are because they're such brats. They lose their father in a terrible tragic accident. Lady Tremaine, her life changes. 
And that is where this story gets dark and so deceivingly, it, it's an incredible read. Um, now, these books, these villain books, cannot go without having somebody even more evil or mean or disturbingly creepy. We bring in the Odd Sisters. Yes. When they come to the castle, or the chateau as it's later known, all hell breaks loose. Let me tell you what. This woman, I could not read this book and not actually feel sorry for her. Uh, yes, Cinderella's in the story. Um, she's older than Drizella and Anastasia. She's more pretty. She's beautiful. You know, like we all know Cinderella. And yes, she does talk to animals. She talks to the mice. And uh, Lady Tremaine is given a cat. Lady Tremaine is given this beautiful little black and white kitty that she names Lucifer. Oh, Lord. Let me tell you what. This cat is something else. And when all of these characters meld together in only a way that Serena Valentino can do it, you guys are in for a treat. This book, I highly give it five, five, five dirty, dusty sweeping brooms. And when you find out what the key is to, where the key came from, what it symbolizes, phenomenal book. Easily, now you guys know what Maleficent means to me. Male Maleficent is my life and my queen of villains, but Lady Tremaine could easily knock her off of her podium of evil. As she says on one of my favorite memes that I have on my computer, silence, bitches. Yeah, she's telling Lady Tremaine, get the hell out of the way. Richard's mine. Yeah, I love me some Maleficent. It would be hard, but you know what? Lady Tremaine could easily take over. You guys, I'm Richard with nightmares, tears, anyone? Pick up the book. You guys, book nine in the series is about... Uh, Captain Hook. It comes out in July. I've already got it paid for and ordered. Um, and if you do order them, try to order the hardbacks. They have these phenom phenomenal, beautiful covers that have these evil and dark inside covers to them. You guys, that's my review of Cold Hearted, A Tale of the Wicked Stepmother. I'll see you guys in the next video.